Welcome to Blaze Cafe Show. I am your host, Robert Brock. Happy New Year, first of all, and welcome to our new season. And none other than Miss Alexis Spite, aka uh, <laughs> Sunny Bass, and she is here with us, our first guest for the new season. Welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank wow. you for having me. So glad you're here. Glad to be here. Great. Now tell us, tell the audience where we are and why you're here. Absolutely. I'm excited to be here. It is Martin Luther King weekend right. and I am in Charlotte, North Carolina. You guys need to be here. Where are you? Are you watching? Uh, <laughs> and you're at the, this is the Martin Luther King Yes, it's uh, the Martin Luther showcase. King showcase and celebration. So okay. I'm really excited. I'm actually headlining a concert this evening okay. at wow. 7. And, um, just excited to pay homage to Dr. King and yeah. to uh, celebrate with some awesome worshipers here on campus. Okay, well, great. First of all, also congratulations on those stellar. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Nominations. Thank yeah, you very much. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, from tell me about from Idol up into here. You have had a whirlwind ride since yeah, then. It's been crazy. It's been crazy from. Uh, Sunday Best 2012 yeah. to now. It's been quite a journey. Wow. Yeah, and this is yeah, second album. Second album. I released the first one, LOL Living Out Loud, in 2012, shortly after right. season five of BT Sunday Best. And God bless it. It uh, was number one in the country. Uh -huh. and God bless it to remain on the charts. And it's still doing really well. Wow. And here I am now with my second album. It came out August 28th, uh, Dear Diary, mm -hmm. um, under a brand new label, Uncle G Records. It's okay. my very first record on my new label. And I'm just excited about it even the more. Wow. And debut number two in the country. Okay. And God is blessing it to soar tremendously. It's oh, been in the top wow. ten. I've been uh, in the top ten as the only female vocalist wow. on my single right. All the Glory for a few months now. So right. oh, wow. God is amazing. He is. I'm just grateful. Speaking of All the Glory, <laughs> love the song and the Thank video. Thank you so much. Thanks. Wow. Now, Dear Diary, how did that title come about for you? Absolutely. Season? Well, I wanted to develop a really um, transparent album. And so um, I had gone through some things in my life, um, even up till most recently. I, I've been dealing with a lot of loss. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've had death in my family, and um, I've lost things from houses to almost my sanity. And um, I asked God, I said, God, why am I going through so much, and especially in such a short time frame? And God told me that He needed me to go through so that when I ministered, it could be from a pure place. Wow. And so that really hit home for me because I realized then that my testimony and what I was going through wasn't for me, mm -hmm. but it was to encourage everybody else that regardless of what season you're in and what platform you're on and where you are in life, you can't die until destiny is fulfilled over your life. And there's nothing that the enemy can do to distort, abort, cancel, or disrupt the plans that God has for you. And so Dear Diary was birthed, and um, I'm excited about it. Each and every song is... Um, an encouragement to uh, every listener right. that um, you can be tenacious and you can keep going because right. quitting is not an option. Got you know, it. The promises of God are yes and amen. Wow. So. Great. And speaking of all that you've gone through, I think your second single is titled It Will Be All Right. It Will Be All Right. Wow. Yes. Yes. That's my so, jam. So that's your a playback for you to encourage your own self. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. It's, it's a David song, I call it. Okay. David, he encouraged himself in the Lord. And so when you listen to that song, it's definitely an encouragement to yourself that it will be all right. Yeah. Regardless of my situation, regardless of my view not matching the things that God has promised me, it will be all right. Wow, that is awesome. So, based on your age, you're such a young lady and yes. such a big... Uh, career to be uh, traveling around true. the country. Yes, sir. How that that's very important, and why do you think that God allowed you to do such an important role? Oh wow, that's a good question. Um, I've never been asked that question. Mm -hmm. Kudos to you. Um, I thank God um, for equipping me um, because it definitely is something that you have to be prepared for, mm -hmm. uh, especially as a young person, only 22 years old. Um, very little experience. I know people who've worked my age in this industry. So to be afforded and privileged the platforms and massive opportunities to travel and to minister um, on that scale is really humbling for me. So I don't I don't take it for granted. Um, I just simply attribute it to God and His favor on my life. I know it's no goodness of my talent or my ability, but it's simply God's favor the reasons that these doors are opening for me. So I give Him all the glory for it. It's definitely something that you need to stay 
prayed up doing because, um, again, as a young person, um, it has its challenges. And so um, I just pray that God continues to strengthen me and give me tenacity and discipline so that I can complete the journey. Great. Okay. Now, based on what you just said, yes. um, who has given you some of the best advice in the industry out of the uh, yes. seasoned artists that you met? Yeah, i got a couple. Um, definitely all of the people on Sunday Best Day. Uh, remain consistent in my life from Pastor Don Perkin to uh, Auntie Amanda Adams. They both text me all the time. Okay. So I thank God for their mentorship and their tutelage. Um, Pastor John Pekin has definitely been quite influential wow, in my career. Um, when I first got started, he reached out to me really almost before anyone, along with Pastor Kim Burrell. I thank God for her too. Kim. Wow. It's, it's just been so many. Everybody in the industry, though, um, majoritively have been mm -hmm. very embracing. This is great because as a young person, I realize I don't know everything. Got it. So there's always um, necessary wisdom that I need, you know, to learn. Right. To learn. Great. Okay. Um, actually, we're gonna take a short break. Yeah. Uh, we'll be right back with Miss Alexis Spike. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Praise Cafe Show. Still hanging out with Miss Alexis Spike. Uh, I'm going to take you uh, to a little bit serious question. I, yes, always I love ask. serious question. Um, what do you think is the church's greatest challenge today? I think our greatest challenge is that we don't use different methods. Um, I believe that if we use, I'm a believer in just using different methods because I believe that it accomplishes different results. And if you want to try some out of the box methods and um, uh, use some different devices and things like that to catapult these souls beyond just the four walls of the church. Um, I believe that that can put us in a very dangerous predicament, but if we are to be more optimistic and more innovative in our thinking and our creativity when it comes to drawing souls, and, um, I really believe that God will develop a kingdom that exceeds our imagination, that will omit barriers like race and gender and ethnicity. And, all those different things that the enemy has designed to uh, separate us and forfeit the things that God right. has to do in the season. Right. But if we eliminate those barriers and, and um, eliminate that mentality altogether and just become more out of the box, I believe that the church can see things that we've never seen. Okay, great. Now this is my first time asking this next question, so okay. you're the first person that I get to try this out. <laughs> um, what do you think the church or the body of Christ can do to make Jesus more real to an unbelieving world? Today? Ooh, that's good. I think um, I, I read a quote one time that said, "We may be the only Jesus that someone sees." Um, the Bible also says, "With loving kindness have I drawn thee." And I believe that if we are to implement more love in our teaching and our ways, um, and even just the way that we live, I believe that will attract uh, people to want to know this Christ that we sing about, that we preach about, that we. Um, get on stage and hoop and squall about. Mm -hmm. I believe that if we are um, that living example, mm -hmm. we can definitely, with love being right. that tool, we can definitely um, be a light to draw thousands and thousands and right. millions wow. to Christ. That's really so, good answer. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I recall that you went to the UK maybe yes. a year or so ago. Yes. And the experience that you had over there with the young kids. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. How's yes. it really with that? Oh, I loved it in England. It was great. Um, I mean, the, the way that they worship is just so free. Mm -hmm. It's it's so not what I'm used to. It's so unfamiliar to me. Um, they pretty much stand the entire time. Um, they are such disciplined people mm -hmm. over there as worshipers. And I think that's amazing to see. Um, because the Bible says that we are to be disciples of Christ, which means we are to be disciplined believers. Um, and discipline comes the, comes from denying your own will, mm -hmm. you know. And so our will sometimes is just to sit down in church and be like, okay, when the slow songs is over, we're going to get up. Wow. You know, but they have so much discipline in that. They, they realize that they purpose and they've intended before they even woke up mm -hmm. that they were going to come in with a mindset to worship. And so when they get there, they do do just that and so to experience that is amazing. I definitely want to do like a live recording over there wow. or something okay. really cool like that. Yeah. So, so were they okay with the funky hair and all that? They did. They were very embracing to my hair. Um, I actually was at a seven day of business college mm -hmm. and so they were rather conservative. They didn't really have um, ear ear piercings yeah. and things like that and they were kind of conservative in the way that they looked but their worship was just so disciplined and so pure and so um, 
just free. Wow. So I love it there. Great. Okay. Wow. I'm so excited. Now tell us where we can find you at yes. on Twitter and everything like that. Absolutely. Go get the Alexis Fight app. It's absolutely free. And we are in over 60 countries. So if you are watching from Taiwan, Africa, the UK, wherever you are, feel free to go to your app store now. Type in Alexis Fight. Download it absolutely free. And it syncs all my social media. So Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Periscope, all accessible through the Alexis Fight app. It's also a great way to book you. So at your church, your event. Uh -huh. Whatever you're having, feel free to get it. There's a link there as well to my new website, alexisfight.com. Go check it out. Wow, okay, thank you. Now, last thing I'll ask you to do is, based on your song, It Will Be All Right. Yes. Some young people, or maybe not so young, a little older, that might be having some challenges right now, going through a rough yeah. time, and don't feel like it will be all right. Absolutely. I'll let you say some encouraging words to them and close us out. Absolutely. Know that no matter the adversity, no matter the trial, God is still God. And he's able to do everything that he promised you he would do. He says, be not weary in well-doing. In due season, you will reap if you faint not. That means if you keep going, if you keep grinding, if you stay tenacious, God will do everything he promised you he'll do. Remember to keep God first. I'm going to prove that if you keep God first, everything you believe in for will fall into place. Second, seize opportunity. Link up with those who are older and wiser. Don't be afraid to absorb that wisdom. And lastly, remain true to who you are. Be yourself. Stand out. Be different. You never know who you may draw, who you may inspire, and who may be encouraged by you just being you. Wow. Thank you, dear. Absolutely. Miss is fine. <laughs> Thank you. Because he's bigger than cancer. Ooh, it's a lovely disease, but even cancer has to die.